Janice, are you there? At your service, sir. Give me some of that dating foolishness. Will do, sir. All right, well, when we come back, should we be worried about something called the manosphere and our sons? Well, I'm going to ask the godfather of the manosphere because he's here and he's going to tell us what that's all about. And you can decide if you think it's something you should be worried about. And I want to hear from the audience. We'll be right back. Rolo Tomasi destroys Dr. Phil, says he is superfluous, and Dr. Phil takes huge L, not able to counter. Welcome to Manosphere Highlights Daily. Congratulations, the Manosphere is mainstream. It's been mainstream for a while now, because Manosphere talking points cannot be denied, especially with all the disturbing data and statistics that indicate something is not working. Most singles since documented, loneliness, depression, obesity, and the list goes on and on. So they look for a scapegoat, Andrew Tate. And because Andrew Tate couldn't be there, they brought in Rolo Tomasi. Shout out to Rolo Tomasi, he did a great job on that show. But we all know that representing the manosphere in the mainstream media does not happen without being portrayed in a negative light. And that's what we're gonna highlight in this video. The way Dr. Phil discredits Rolo Tomasi, and we're going to do it management highlights daily style so you can have a better understanding of what's going on. Now, before we get into this, Janice, superfluous. The term superfluous refers to something that is excessive, unnecessary, or redundant. When something is described as superfluous, it means that it is surplus to requirements or goes beyond what is essential or meaningful in a given context. Keep this in mind. We'll come back to this later. Now it's time for us to get into this and do what we got to do. Because we men ain't we? Yeah. We men ain't we? Yeah. I suspect that the big issue is that we have 17 to 30 million children growing up without fathers. 40% yeah. of children are born out of wedlock today. And those kids, typically two out of five children, do not have a father in their home. Yeah. Who should teach masculinity? Your dad. And right. then extra. I men. agree that father, fatherhood is, is actually fatherhood is superfluous right now. Men are superfluous right now. You will hear women say, I don't need a man, but I want a man. It's no longer about need. Sorry, it's who no says fatherhood superfluous? Every last person I have ever done a, do a an interview with. Okay, here's the thing. Sure, no, wait a minute. You, you said every person you've ever interviewed said fatherhood is superfluous? No, I, no, I meant what I meant is that every person, every woman that I have ever interviewed, at, and depending on whatever the show is, is that they express a, a pretty much the same thing verbatim, which is I don't need a man, but I want a man. The reason why they don't need a man is because they have gotten to the point right now where we have put women into the workplace, we put women into, into universe, major universities right now. We have essentially taken the side of women's mating strategy where they need a man who can provide, protect, and provision. And we said, ladies, men are bums. Men are either abusive or they are a Homer Simpson. They're that buffoon stereotype that we see in, in all the in, in sitcoms. Or they're incompetent, right? What are you talking about? Do you about? want to be needed, though? But, <laughs> but do you see, want to be needed you, or you want to? About? I mean, that's Rolo Tomasi is spot on here, and Dr. Phil knows it. That's why Dr. Phil implements a familiar tactic used in debates, obfuscation or deflection. Dennis. In some cases, the person may be intentionally trying to divert attention from the topic or confuse the discussion by pretending not to understand. This tactic can be used to undermine your argument or to avoid addressing the points you have raised. It's important to be aware of such tactics and steer the conversation back to the main topic or point of contention. This is pure gold because Dr. Phil knows Oprah Winfrey is watching. The Dr. Phil show has an effortless agenda. So you won't be surprised by the words that come out of his mouth. Check this out. The dynamic that I'm talking about right now is, is you've got women who are looking for men who are economically attractive, correct? No. You don't think, okay. Because, because right up until about 2020, that was a major concern across mainstream media was women could not find a guy who is their equal. Women want men who've got their act together. And it seems like, right, and that can be in lots of different ways. So do women want men who are going to be shoulder to shoulder with them, partners, parents, breadwinners? Do they want guys who have their act together? You bet. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with women holding but out for men who've got their may, act together. It may, like intimidate, it may intimidate men that they don't, they're not on the white knight role coming in and fixing everything and, and bringing the money. But that doesn't mean that 
there's not a role in a meaningful relationship for a man. That you can't make this stuff up. He's serving that feel-good Kool-Aid. You can't take Dr. Phil seriously, man. First off, they completely disregard what Rolo said about women looking for men that are economically attractive and that this was a main concern in 2019, 2020. Remember this? Finding love is not that easy, right? And it's especially hard in this economy. And guess what? Many women say they are finding it very hard to find a man who makes as much as they do. A study by Cornell University found that the country's declining marriage rate is due to the lack of financially eligible bachelors. Women are actually outpacing men with education, and this is changing the age-old mentality that men are the breadwinners. It turn, in turn, the gig or small gigs economy and lack of good jobs out there have left the ladies single and disgruntled. And researchers say they are seeing a trend of women dating down, which what? means, you dating know, a man down. who... Oh, dating man. down. All right, really? All right, listen, it was in the prompt, right? The fact that Dr. Phil doesn't acknowledge that women are hypergamous says a lot about his credibility and the decline of the influence of mainstream media. You can't just sweep these facts under the rug and say men are intimidated without people fact-checking your statements. Just a simple Google search and you can find out for yourself. This is why this space keeps growing, because men are tired of being fed this foolishness. Let's take it a step further. Correct. And and, no one's denying that. And, and there's and no question. Too. It's and all women. for us too, and we had to adjust too. I mean, oh, we have mothers. My mom was a stay-at-home mom who's a pastor mm. and submissive to my military dad, and I am the exact opposite. And you're, you're, and it's hard to identify. You're like, does that make me not feminine? You know, if you're, I out your lawyer, you you have economic independence. Should you sure. choose to, Rollo? By the sounds of it, you don't think it was a good idea to allow women to become lawyers who could stand on their own two feet. I didn't say anything like so, that. So I, what? And some people hit me up. By, uh, let me, let me clarify, please. Uh, people hit please. me up all the time, and they say. Do you think that women should have the right to vote? Absolutely, I think they should. And that's I, not what I asked. Well, I know, and I, but I'm saying, but should women be upwardly mobile, let's should say? Should women have and, the same equal economic independence as men? Should they be able to? Yes. Absolutely, right. I think that they should. But why is it bad if we don't need a man? Like, I okay. thought it, want uh, is better. Choice, man. Better. I'll, I'll, explain choice to, better. I'll explain to you why. When I'm talking to women who are uh, between the ages, say, 29, 30, 31 years old, they come to me and they say, Rolo, I need to I need to find a man. Where's the right guy? I did everything society told me to do. I, I got the job, I got my own business, I got the career on tap, I got the I got the degree, I did everything that I'm supposed to do. Where's my guy? Where's my equal partner? Where am I going to how so we can go and have babies from from here on out? And the only thing I can say to them is you need to get in touch with your inner feminine because guys don't want that girl. They want a girl that a girl that's 25, 26 years old. Four They're times. looking for that feminine. You don't, you don't know what you're I've talking about. Yes, Four I know. Times. No, I'm you don't. Coming up, part. what is... <laughs> this is why the Manosphere came to the conclusion early on that appearing in the mainstream media is a bad idea. Because mainstream media will discredit you if you represent the manosphere. Rolo is doing a great job and Dr. Phil knows it. That's why he's telling his audience that Rolo doesn't know what he's talking about without a rebuttal. And that makes him look bad. Check this out. The most superficial stereotypes about people and how we behave that I just wish weren't true. Let me share with you a few examples. One of the most common stereotypes about, related to dating about men is that they only go after younger women. Well, it's actually very easy to prove this out using data. Let's take a look at how much men like women by age. Here on the x-axis, you see men's age. On the y-axis, women's age. We decided to plot how, much, how often men like women using different colors. Here, green represents men liking women often, and the red reverse. And voila. It's very obvious that no matter how old men are, they go after younger women. <laughs> and by the heavy concentration of greenness at the bottom of the graph, it really is younger the, uh, younger the, be be <laughs> the, younger the woman, the better. This is biology, fellas. Younger women are at the peak of their fertility. 
Dr. Phil knows it's gonna hurt a lot of these 30 plus so-called strong and independent women if he agrees with biology. Because that is the red pill fellas. Understand that there are distinct and profound differences between men and women. We are not the same. We are not attracted to the same things and we will never be equal. Stop the foolishness. In the modern information age, huge amounts of data about human behavior and preferences can be collected easily and accessed without much effort. This space keeps growing because you refuse to listen to men. Men are attracted to feminine women. Dr. Phil is just a puppet for that effinist agenda and he's about to take his biggest L of the show. Robin is a very successful woman. She doesn't need me for a damn thing. She's entrepreneurial, she's, what? I want you. Yeah, thank you. So you're superfluous then. <laughs> What's that? So you're superfluous then. She doesn't How does that make me superfluous? You're nice to have around. I think, she meant, I think you meant financially, not emotionally, not spiritually, yeah. not but connectively. You yeah. can't think of relationships yeah. beyond control and, and ownership yeah. and power. No, wait a minute. It's not let, about no, that. Let me not ask, about that. Let me, not about that let, at all. The fact that she doesn't have to have me to exist doesn't mean that I'm not essential to who she is. We. What are you doing, Dr. Phil? Doesn't mean that I'm not essential to who she is. We. Oh my goodness. Do you know the meaning of essential? It's necessary or needed. The foolishness. We've been together for 46 years. She doesn't need me to buy her a new car. She doesn't need me to buy her a house. She doesn't need me to do the things she's competent. She could, if she wants to go to Hong Kong tomorrow, she doesn't need me to make the arrangements. But I am a part of her DNA. I'm part of her life. If I was missing, it would be a huge impact on her. That's why I'm not superfluous. You can't be that narrow-minded. Takes another shot, calling Rolo narrow-minded, even though the definition of superfluous is accurate if a woman says she does not need you. What you have to do in situations like this is reverse the roles. Remember this clip? Uh, my beautiful wife has been, I mean, she's the real MVP if you want to be completely honest. Can you imagine LeBron James saying, I don't need my wife. I can do everything without her, but I want her. I can already see the headlines. LeBron James reveals personal perspective. My wife is my choice, not my necessity. LeBron James gets real. I can stand alone, but I choose to stand with my wife. LeBron James would never say that because women go by feel and it feels good to women when they say, I don't need a man, I'm independent. But you see what happens when men let women know that they don't need women. Now they're gay, who hurt you? You can't handle a strong independent woman. And here is a perfect example of how women process information. Check this out. And the other thing is it always feels like a gender battle. Like it's always men versus women. And even at home, I cannot talk about this with my own husband. I cannot talk about men's rights with him. I want to kill him in about 30 seconds. And I'm like, I'm on your team. Like I represent dudes and I hate you. And I'm never extreme enough for him. And he likes to spew facts at me. Like men are always guilty when the police come. I'm like, what? Who? Have you been arrested? I last time I checked, you've never even been investigated. What do you what do you mean this always happens? He's like, you know it's true. It's a fact. I'm like, oh my God, it's a fact again. And I do know it's true. I actually watch my poor male clients get arrested for ridiculous stuff all day. I can give you a hundred case studies that would break your heart. But when he says that I want to deck him. And why? Why does it have to be that way? Why can't I just calm down and listen and not be in competition? And I can't. I fail, at least at home. I'll try to do better for you, doctor. Thank you. You see, it's not about facts. It's about feelings. We hurt women's feelings with the facts that we present on a daily basis about female nature. Women know we are right, but can't handle the truth. 
And this is exactly why you have these foolish arguments with women because men use logic and women use feelings. Dr. Phil knows this, that's why he speaks womanese. Men are intimidated. You don't know what you're talking about. You can't be that narrow-minded. The foolishness. What I'm saying is that she does, you just said a minute ago that she doesn't need you. That she doesn't need you for your for her existence financially. That's all you is it a financial thing, or is it yes. a personal? Thing? That's all. No, there there are so many dimensions to a relationship, and I, I will stay with what I said. She doesn't need me. If I die today, she will be fine. Financially, emotionally, no, I she will be fine. She will but not be fine. She, but... but she wants me to be in her life. And I want her to be emotionally strong enough, mentally strong enough, financially planned out enough that I don't have to be there for her to be okay. You, you can't wrap your head around so he that? So she doesn't need you. Is that what you're saying? You interrupted him so you could be right. <laughs> <laughs> this is pure gold. You interrupted him so you could be right. I'm going to clip this one. There's something off with the transition from Rolo to Robin. I think they edited it because Rolo cornered Dr. Phil. And this is what they do. They will manipulate what you see. They shape public opinion. It's just very hard to do in modern times without the monopoly mainstream media used to have. Congratulations. The manosphere is mainstream. Growth is inevitable and men's voices will be heard. If you like it or not. How am I he wrong? Wasn't finished. How, how am I wrong about your relationship here? He's you just saying him. that he do, you don't, he, you won't, but you'll be fine without point? him. But what is your point, Rolo? My point is this, is that we've made masculinity superfluous right now. We've made men superfluous right now. How is she right not now. in your same story? How is she not superfluous to him in the same story? You, exactly. That's the, that's the hmm. point. We are better together than we are apart. Well, then we are innate and natural compliments to one another. Would you agree that, with that? Man, that's where we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.